Hello everyone, this is Sohail and I'm going to talk about our new work Sage, which is a collaboration with Chen Yu, Jonathan at NYU. The presentation will have three parts. In the first part, I will focus on the context and motivation behind the work. Then I will describe what research question we're targeting to answer here. Later on, I will try to elaborate a little bit more on the big picture of the design of Sage and how we approach the main research question that we have. So let's start with the context and motivation then. Congestion control, as you know, is one of the challenging and active research topics in the community. This segment has remained a valid one for many years. Here I'm showing you the number of published congestion control related papers in 16 ACM journals and conferences. And I hope that it can convince you that it's a hot topic. In particular, if we focus on the internet congestion control, the challenging aspect of it comes from different factors. The very first one is lack of perfect information. As you know, internet is based on the philosophy of dominance work, smart, and host. And congestion control is supposed to be done by the end host there. However, end hosts uh, don't have perfect information about the underlying network. Things like what is the exact delay of the network at different times, what is the capacity of different links, different button link links, and for instance, things like number of competing flows and so on and so forth. Another thing, which might be a little bit even more important than the first one, is the cooperative game uh, aspect of the condition control on the internet. It means that other entities also you know, are there. It's not just about your own local objective, but you need to also take care of some global objectives, which show themselves in terms of you know, TCP friendliness or fairness and so on and so forth. All these and similar challenges have already led to different you know, congestion control designs out there. But unfortunately, a well-known lesson from decades of congestion control design and research is that Every heuristic at the end of the day has its own issues. In other words, existing schemes might be able to perform good in certain scenarios, but they will fail in the other ones. This is what I call the empty half of the class. And please feel free to check out the paper for some illustrative examples of this. We also can look into this uh, from another angle. If we focus more on the good aspect of the things, and the fact that these existing schemes are actually the outcomes of you know, years of efforts and research you know, in this domain, we may come up with this idea that we already have a precious fast pool of congestion control designs out there. This is what I call the full half of the glass. That said, let's see what research question we're targeting to answer in this work. What we already have in terms of you know, how to design a congestion control, a new one, is following this cycle. First, we always start with, you know, investigating the existing schemes, trying to figure out the pros and cons of them, comparing them with each other, and so on and so forth. Then, designers will start thinking about how to improve them. So they come up with ideas, some of them will fail definitely, and some of them, maybe magically, you know, happen to work somehow. But the key thing in this cycle is that it's a manually executed one, meaning different steps should be done manually. And because of that, it's very time consuming. We're talking about months or years of design. And also because of that, we can say that you know, it's not that sustainable. So this is what we already have, but we, what we desire to have is a more automated version of this. If I want to show you this in a cartoonish way, this would be something like this. We want to utilize the existing schemes, whether they're broken or not, doesn't matter. We're going to utilize them and automatically come up with a better you know, policy, with a better strategy. In other words, we're trying to automatically utilize the full half of the class, the fact that we have lots of different condition control schemes out there to address the issues of the empty half of the class, which is you know, the problem with them in uh, different scenarios. And this brings the main research question that we try to answer here. 
Can computers learn from the existing congestion control schemes and automatically discover a better performing one? To answer this question, we designed Sage. So now I will you know, go through the big picture of the design and elaborate a little bit on that. Design of Sage consists of three phases. The first phase, we do collect congestion control policies. For example, assume we're trying to collect TCP cubics behavior. We'll let different flows go through different network environments using TCP cubic, of course. And then we collect and record some general signals independent of TCP cubic or any congestion control scheme, to be honest. And then we filter them out and make a so-called data set of cubic representing its behavior in different you know, settings. Then you can imagine we add more schemes here, TCP Vegas and you know, whatever scheme you like. And then at the end, we will get pool of policies, pool of existing policies. From this point on, we have the pool of policies fixed. So there wouldn't be any you know, interaction with any network environments. There wouldn't be any packets sent to any network environments. There wouldn't be any you know, extra exploration, if you like. We just have the, uh, the pool of policies and we just feed it into part of the system, which is data-driven reinforcement learning agent that we have. As a side note, Sage, as far as we know, is the first design utilizing data-driven or offline RL in the context of working. To see what is the or what are the differences between data-driven RL and the general RL that you have heard likely in other works, please check out uh, our paper. So after the training, which is fully offline, is done, we get Sage's model, which is basically the basis of a deep neural network. Then we put Sage in this new architecture. There are two extra components here. One is TCP pure. This is a minimal TCP that we have implemented uh, at the kernel side, and it tries to handle you know, general transport functionalities other than congestion control. When it comes to congestion control, TCP pure is a dummy one. It just executes the instructions given. The other component is general representation unit. Think about it as a shim layer to receive and enforce kernel signals and actions. And feel free to check out the public repository of the project for the details of the deployment. Okay, so let's go back to the main question that we wanted to answer. Here I will share with you one of the evaluations that we have. Of course, there are lots of more evaluations in the paper, feel free to check them out. So what is the setting? We try to utilize 13 available congestion control schemes in the Linux kernel and train Sage for seven days and see what happens. X-axis here shows the training day. Y-axis shows winning rate. Winning rate is the percentage of times that the scheme was among the top performing schemes in the tested scenarios, meaning a higher number is a better one. So let's put 13 available congestion control schemes in this graph and show you the winning rates of them. This would be something like that. But now let's add Sage to this graph. As you see, it starts from a very low number, but throughout the training days, it keeps growing and getting better and better until day five that it actually surpasses the best performing you new know, scheme in these uh, set of benchmarks. By the way, these are you know, the benchmarks that we have and we have defined them in the paper. For more details, you know, again, uh, please check out the paper. So the key here is, you know, the answer to the main question that we had. Can computers learn solely from the existing, com existing condition control designs? Yes, indeed they can. And Sage is a sample showing uh, this fact. To wrap it up, let me just um, have a final note here and have one simple question. Is this the end of the story of internet congestion control research? Of course not. But we believe that Sage can show a more sustainable way to reach that end. Thanks for your attention.